Hello and welcome back to Something Z. Welcome to What If Not at the Five Tales Part 4. Last time on the What If, Team 7 completed their mission to help the bridge builder. Now, let's get back into the What If. So it's the night of them back from the mission, and Naruto is in the mindscape talking to Kokuo about what happened on the bridge. Do you know what happened to me, Kokuo? There seemed to be some cloak around me, and it seemed to be an orange chakra. Do you know anything about it? Hmm, it must be the seal has been weakened to the point you can start using my chakra, besides just borrowing it for a short time. Wow, really? So what do I have to do in order to do it? Well, you experienced it yourself. It's a cloak of chakra that you need to get from me, and this isn't the only thing you can do with my power, but you need to train a lot more, and the seal needs to be weakened too. Then Naruto wakes up from the mindscape, and when he finishes his mission for the day, which was getting a runaway cat, he goes to the forest to test out the chocolate cloak, and he tries to drag out a bit of Kokuo's power, works a bit, and he has an orange ore around his body, and he throws a punch, and when he does, he feels a slight shock wave, which he can feel power up his punch a bit. Then he punches a tree and gets a bit of a scratch on his knuckle, and when he looks at it, there's a steam coming out of the wound, and when the steam ends, the wound is healed. And he touches his forehead to wipe some sweat off his head, and he feels around three points coming from his head. He trains and practices using the aura for the rest of the day, and when he goes back to his home, he is tired from using too much chakra. So he skips the next day, and Team Summon just completed their mission for the day. The three Ganon were walked through a road, and they see Konohamaru being held up by his collar by his foreign shinobi, and his two friends are trying to get him. Naruto runs at the foreign shinobi, and before the guy hits Naruto, Naruto boils his chakra for a second to dodge the attack. He tries to fake a punch at the shinobi's face, but the shinobi dodges, and Naruto grabs Konohamaru's collar instead, making it so Konohamaru is in no more trouble. Konkuro, stop. When they look to see where the voice came from, they look at a nearby tree, and they see a person who was around their age and had red hair and eye bags that looks like they haven't slept in a long while. The guy named Konkuro nods then walks away. Then the person with red hair disappears as well. When the foreign shinobi leave, the three kids thank Naruto, then they leave. So we skip to when Kakashi asks Team 7 if they want to participate. Sasuke and Naruto agree. And since Sakura had faith in Naruto and Sasuke for the mission they went on, she decides she can handle it as long as she ha has them to help her. So when they all agree, Kakashi tells them that they're on their own for one week, and they'll meet on the final day so he can tell them more info then. During the week, all of Team 7 trained together, practicing some jutsus, chakra control, or just plain sparring, which didn't really help Sasuke and Naruto as much as it did Sakura who gets better at her aim and physical combat a bit. And Sakura learned a bit of Genjutsu from Karanai. It's the Jutsu Kakashi used on her during the bell test, but it's not as strong as Kakashi's. And during the night after their practices with Sasuke and Sakura, Naruto went into the forest and used the chakra cloak from Kokuo. And when he ran out of chakra, he slept in the forest and talked to Koku about the cloak and things he could do with his chakra if the seal was a bit weakened. And when he woke up, he took a bath and went to train with his squad. And he repeats that cycle until it's the night before the final day before the exams. Naruto was using the tailed beast aura when he decided to increase the power more than he had before. And when he did, he could feel his head growing three bigger points than they normally do. He wanted to test it out, so he slammed his head on a nearby tree and when he slammed his head he didn't feel any real pain the whole tree broke when he hit it from what he could tell they were harder than bone and when he tries to sit down he notices a white orange tip for his tail he freaks out for a second and tries to talk to kokuo kokuo what's happening why do i have a tail and why are there horns are they permanent calm down naruto it's fine you just focus some of your chakra to your butt and, when, and it formed one of my tails. And as for your horns, it's made when you use my chakra to make an aura or a cloak. Oh, okay. But how do I turn them off? Just release the aura, and you should be able to make it disappear. Naruto turns off the aura, and it doesn't work, so he turns off his chakra to the most he can. And the tail seems to shrink, then eventually the tail completely disappears. And then he stops for the night, and walks home to sleep. So he skips to the next day, and Team 7 meets at a place where they had the bell test. And there, they learn they will have to participate in three tests in order to pass. Kakashi tells them the location and when the test is, and then Kakashi leaves. And with the last day before the exams, they do a little bit of training. And they don't do it as hard, since they don't want to be tired during the exams the next day. 
So we skip to the next day, and Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura are at the first exam site. And when they get to where the room is, they see a crowd of people waiting to get into the room. And when they look closely, they all notice it is the Genjutsu and dispel it. When they do, they notice they are on the wrong floor. And when they start to walk away, Sasuke gets stopped by a guy in a green jumpsuit. Hey, are you Sasuke Uchiha? Can we fight? Why? I want to prove that I can beat someone like you, born with something special and strong, while I have to work harder than any and I can still win. Sorry, but I just don't want to. Come on, I'm just one of the strongest getting of your age group. Sasuke wanted to test that out, so that's the challenge, and they go to an empty room to fight. And Sakura did the countdown, and when she said go, Sasuke turned on his Sharingan, and they both ran at each other. It happens the same as it does in the canon, and Sasuke gets beat up by Rock Lee, and Sasuke copied his movement. And before Rock Lee got the final hit, a turtle appears out of nowhere, and Rock Lee stops. Sensei! Lee, you promised you wouldn't fight before the exam. Confused on what's going on, Team 7 looks at the tool. Then a puff of smoke comes from the turtle, and when it dissipates, there's a guy with a similar hairstyle and jumpsuit as Rock Lee. And before they know what's happening, the man punches Lee and then they start to cry together. So they leave to before anything else happens. When they get to where the actual exams are, they see a poof of smoke appear, then dissipate. And where the smoke was stands Kakashi. He then wishes them luck before he leaves. So we're going to skip to the first exam, but everything happens the same. So they have met Kabuto. And the first exam begins with, with a, a bald guy with a giant scar across his face. Tells them they can't get caught cheating five times or they'll fail. And they begin. Sakura gets all the answers right on her own. Sasuke uses the Sharingan to look at nearby examiner's answers. And Naruto gets one to two answers right, but he gets jumped on the rest of the question. By the end of the test time, Naruto has gone a good half of the problem. Then they hear the head examiner stand up. Okay, everyone. It's time for your tenth and final question. But there are special rules to this. If you want to leave, you can. But your whole team is disqualified. But if you fail the question, you are out of the tune exams permanently. So raise your hand if you want to leave. After some time, several teams left the room. And Team 7 was prepared to answer the tenth question. Okay, for all of you left, here's the last question. You passed. The first exam's final question was to see if you had the courage to continue, even if there was a possibility you could fail forever. Before they can congratulate themselves, the window bursts open with glass going everywhere, and they look to see who broke the window. They see a woman with purple hair. Wow, Ibiki, this is more than usual. Did you hold back on these students? Wolonko, these are all the people who had the guts to stay and fail, so why are you here? I'm here to collect the candidates that have made it. So everyone, it's time to go. Meet me there in around 20 minutes. So 20 minutes later, and they're at the forest of death. When Anko thinks everyone is there, she begins. Okay, everyone. The next stage of the tuning exams begin. What you have to do is get both an Earth and a Heaven Scroll. And when you get both of them, you can pass if you make it to the center tower. You will be given a scroll at random. You also cannot open the scrolls. And if you do, there will be punishment. When she's done speaking, she tells everyone the site they are going to start in. And Team 7 got a heaven scroll. And they put it in Naruto's bag on his butt. And when they get the signal, they go. But with Naruto not boiling his chakra just yet, since he knows he has to keep his chakra at all times, because they don't know when they'll be attacked. And that's where I'm going to leave the what if. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you next time on Something Z.